News Channel 11 Sports Director Kenny Hawkins. Good morning, everyone. Two of the winningest high school basketball programs in the state met in the finals of the Class A state championship game on Saturday night. Clark Range and South Green have played in the state tournament a combined 52 times. Clark Range has won eight titles, while defending state champion South Green was looking for their six. As we take you to the Murphy Center, both teams ready to square off. South Green red hot from behind the arc early. Ashlyn Rees with a three-pointer. Then Kinsley Weichel from the corner. Three of her 15 points on Saturday. The Rebels up 24 to 12. Buffaloes charging back in the second, down five. Class A missed basketball. Carol Meadows with the lay-in. Now down one. Hannah Garrett from the corner drills it. Buffaloes take the first lead of the game, 36-34. But South Green quickly answers. Lindsey Cutshaw battling the flu, draining the tray right before the halftime buzzer. Rebels up 37-36 in the break. Clark Range keeping it close in the third. Meadows again down low. She finished with a game high 28 points. But that's when Taylor Lamb took control, getting the rebound and the putback. Then later, Lamb, the wraparound pass, blocked. So pulling up and knocking down the Jag. Lamb dropping a double-double, 19 points and 10 boards. South Green went on to win back-to-back -back titles, taking down Clark Range 66-57. News Channel 11 Sports, Kane O'Neill was there for the celebration. Kenny, for just the third time in school history, the South Green Lady Rebels have won back-to-back -back state titles. But this year's squad feels that the 2017 championship is even sweeter than the 2016 title. This one's definitely better. Now we got two, so it's perfect. We knew how to come out here, take care of business, and keep our composure the whole game. I feel like we definitely had a target on our back, but I feel like we came out and played as a team and done what we could to get the job done. Clark Ranger raised a double-digit South Green lead in the first half, sending the Rebels into the locker room, leading by just one point. But last year's title game experience helped the Lady Rebels keep their composure and take control coming out of the break. I mean, you're going to have ups, ups and downs, so you just got to keep on playing and be able to trust your teammates that they're going to hit a shot for you and you're going to get motivated and they're going to make the push for you. You know, basketball is a game of adjustments and um, you know, I asked the girls to do a couple of things there to, to give us a chance in the end and, and they made that strong push in the third and they executed. Always dreamed of being in this situation. and. Now that we're here, it's crazy. It's like we're living a dream. Now the South Green Lady Rebels will not be able to defend their Class A title next year because they are moving up to Double A. But they are only losing one senior from this year's squad, so they'll be well set for the 2017-2018 season. Reporting in Murfreesboro, Kane O'Neill, 